Why do people have a problem with what you said? I don't know. Uh, they don't talk about it in other sports. Uh, I suppose when Riggs played uh, Billie Jean back in the 70s, it's prompted this idea that we should keep doing it. It hasn't really happened, although Connors played Martina Navratilova about 20-something years ago, gave her, he only had one serve, and she had the doubles, doubles alley and beat her. And over the course of time, people, including our now president, wasn't president at the time, have offered me sums of money to play Serena or Venus. I don't know why I'm always the guy that they want to play, the old fart now that, can you still beat Serena? Um, but at any rate, I believe I have some ability left, and I had pride when I played, and they could ask, why don't they ask her to play Roger Federer or, you know, Rafael Nadal on clay, see how that goes. Yeah. But would you play her for amount of money? You know, I never really thought that that was something that, that mix the apples and oranges. Um, I should probably suggest now that it might not be a bad idea if everyone's all up in arms about it. Have the, you... have, been, have the women play in the men's circuit, and we'll see what happens. Let them all play for the next two years and see what the, the rankings are. And as far as, you know, I talk about it in this book a little bit. Obviously, you haven't read it, Dan, but uh, uh, that's okay. I just I, got it. I, I, well, you just got it a minute ago, so I forgive yeah. you. Yeah. But um, I love the I, pictures I, in the, there, the, though. The kids, the kid, my own kids. You know, I have four girls and two boys, so I've become a great feminist over the years, so Anna would be happy about that. But they don't think I can beat her. And there's a lot of people that don't think I can beat her at this stage, and I'm not quite as sure as I was uh, a couple of years ago. She's a tremendous player and a, one of the great athletes, period, of the 20th, uh, 20th century, for sure. There's but no don't you think it's the 700 number is what bothered people? Maybe that's what it is. I mean, what, it, do, you th what do you think she'd be? Uh, you like sports. You follow tennis. What number do you think she'd be? Uh, if Okay, we're talking about who could she beat. If I pulled out the 250th ranked player right now, I, uh, I think she has a great chance because she's been in that moment. The 250 ranked person hasn't. So I want to see what you do with the build-up to it, the hype to it. You get out there, center court. Now, I'm not talking about on tour. I completely agree, which is what I said. You yeah. know, if, if you listen to what I said, I said uh, she could beat a handful of people who would choke and yeah. get you know, overwhelmed by the occasion. And then there's other times where she wouldn't be feeling it, and there'd be a 17-year-old guy who's the number one guy in – you know, it's one part of the world that would beat her. And, and there's college players. I get pros at my club. I got 37 pros at my club at Randall's Island. And there's six, you know, I mean, I like to get out and play. And there's six or seven guys in a given day, maybe more I'd lose to. And there'd be a thousand people I'd lose to now. And also, I mean, you, you got to bring in, if you actually want to <laughs> analyze this, is, is she going to play best of five? No, I know. In the majors, for starters? I mean, how would that go over? She's never done that. Um, it's like me. I play a set now against Roddick on the Champions Tour, and I'm exhausted. So now they want me to play two out of three. It would be two. And I, I maybe can play two sets. I, I'd have to beat uh, Serena or whoever else in two sets because I fall over <laughs> in the third set. <laughs> but I, I, I hate when we start to do this compare and contrast. When I it comes do too. To I, women. And, 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 and why don't you do it you. in basketball? Or why don't they do it in hockey? Or why don't they do it in running or, or boxing for that matter? That's where they'd at least be the same weight class. For, uh, they, you yeah. know, you'd think it'd be a level or playing field. Why is it always tennis and it's always McEnroe <laughs> that gets caught in the middle of this? It drives me crazy. Uh, well, in fairness to you, you got led down that road. I did. By the host thank you on for, NPR. Thank, thank you for you know, playing that because it, people are, why did you bring that up? You just want to sell books? I mean, I guess I do want to. <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like the books to you know, <laughs> hopefully be successful, but that's not the reason. I, I wasn't planning on bringing it up and I've been in there five different occasions when my kids were born, and it's a magnificent experience. I'm sure you well know yourself. And I wish Serena the best. And when she, whatever she tweeted, I think she tweeted because I don't yeah. tweet, but whatever it was, she, you know, let me, don't stress me out. I'm just having a kid leave me. I, mean, I want nothing for the best for Serena. She's been, you know, without Serena and to a lesser extent Venus, uh, the, the, the sport of tennis in America really be struggling. But the, the argument could be the most decorated tennis player of all time. If you want to do it in that context, then, you know, most successful. Her then story is one of the great stories in tennis history, this, these sisters. Yeah. I mean, my brother and I played a couple times, and I, I think that Venus was a great uh, help to Serena's career, the way she handled it, because I would have jumped off the Empire State Building if I lost a little bro. <laughs> Did you no, ever lose to your no, brother? No, of course not. Um, but um, <laughs> in practice... Uh, but we only played a couple of times. But I knew it was weird and difficult, and it shouldn't have been. And she handled it amazingly well. And Serena's, an in, I mean, she's one of the truly great athletes in, in the last hundred years. And their story is amazing. 
There you go. That's all you needed that's to it. say. Thank but you, you know, you I had said to, that. I've you, said that before. You threw out the 700 <sighs> number, and that's what got you in trouble. Uh, yeah. What are you going to say when you see her, when you have a baby gift for her, and you see her? What do you say? I'm going to buy her 700 roses. Ooh. I Is like that, that okay? I like that. <laughs> the Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.